Archaeology is the scientific study of past human culture and behavior from the remains, ruins, and artifacts left behind. Sometimes archaeology and geology can clash. This is because sometimes ruins and artifacts can be confused for geological features, and sometimes geological features can be confused for ruins and artifacts. The benefits of archaeology include studying history apart from historical records. There are just some things that you can't learn from historical records, such as art, physical characteristics, and architecture. Discovering things about history that are not found written in historical records. Historical records only contain what is considered important, and much of everyday life is not considered important enough to be recorded. It allows for the discovering of additional written records. It allows us to confirm the existence of civilizations that were only written of by other civilizations. The most famous example of this was the discovery of Troy, the discovering of civilizations not yet known, and discovering things about groups that left no written records. A big problem for archaeology is the fact that much of the evidence of a civilization is not preserved. Now, there are many causes for the loss of such evidence. Decay over time and natural disasters, destruction by war, accidental destruction by the reuse of land, destruction by carelessness of both scientists and non-scientists. This is the case because archaeologists have not always been as careful as they should be. The deliberate destruction of artifacts and ruins by both scientists and non-scientists. This occurs because scientists are not always honest. Now, this is not necessarily a big problem, but it is still a source of artifact loss. And among non-scientists, an example would be the fact that Muslims have a history of destroying religious artifacts in countries they conquer. And finally, the looting of archaeological sites by treasure hunters. To make matters worse, the further back you look in time, the bigger the problem. Government often hinders archaeological research. By blocking excavation and investigation except by approved archaeologists so that they can control access to potential digs, Governments have also blocked excavation and investigation of sites that they do not like. A good example of this is the fencing off of a possible Mount Sinai site in Saudi Arabia. Governments control evidence by demanding that artifacts discovered within their borders be turned over to their officials. The reason given is to prevent the looting of national treasures. This allows governments to hide evidence that goes against their official view of history. And it also allows governments to control access to the evidence that they have. Furthermore, artifacts are not self-interpreted. They are interpreted by way of a theoretical system. And the accuracy of the interpretation is dependent on the accuracy of the theoretical system. Furthermore, artifacts and ruins are easily dismissed if they do not fit the theoretical system being used. There are just too many different ways artifacts can be interpreted. This is particularly true of sites that are poorly preserved because poor preservation can cause interpretation mistakes. Furthermore, the evidence that makes the difference can easily have been lost. Also, if the site was discovered by amateurs, it can be claimed that they did not know what they were doing and that they messed up the site. It also needs to be noted that the theoretical systems used are based on philosophical assumptions. Being in historical science, archaeology is greatly influenced by philosophical assumptions. For example, a purely naturalistic theoretical system requires assuming that any supernatural claims in history are mythological. As a result, the philosophical assumptions behind any claim need to be understood.